OGP's value to Kenya is great. And I want, first of all, to take this opportunity to thank the Office of the Deputy President for being on the forefront to take Kenya to be a member of the Open Government Partnership worldwide. And uh, as a result, I think Kenya has made a, um, a major stride in ensuring that um, good governance is um, being cultivated and upheld in various programs. And as a county, we have come in and we are signing up an agreement to be part of this um, partnership so that we can promote um, good governance through use of geospatial uh, data and information. Data and information is so crucial in decision making. And without data and information, it's very difficult to make rational decision. And therefore, as a county, we are committing ourselves to OGP or uh, to OGP so that we can be able to demonstrate the power of uh, the power and the use of data in decision making and in the promotion of transparency. And I can um, clearly say that with good information and data, we will be able to handle the issues of corruption. Because once data is available, it will be able to show what is available, who owns it, what the government is doing, and therefore it gives uh, you know, openness, transparency, and accountability. And therefore, we as a county, we, we are very happy to participate in this program, and we look forward to influencing other counties to, uh, to, to take you and be able to join us to put data as a very important infrastructure in our development agenda. Because data should be considered as a major infrastructure the way we consider roads as being infrastructure, communication as being infrastructure. And one other thing that we need to be aware of that there is so much data available worldwide that we can access to. There is data that is generated daily using various satellites. This data has been greatly been availed to us and we can use it. We have technologies like uh, uh, GIS, geographical information systems, that are available. Some of them are open, op um, open uh, uh, free uh, uh, software on the, on the internet. You can use them. So we can be able to access to all these uh, technologies and be able to bring them. So as a county, what we want is we want to set a model on how to use geospatial data and information for decision making, for promotion of accountability and transparency, and in the fight against corruption. This is a very important uh, uh, question because gender equality uh, is very, very important. And uh, as, a, as um, a result, if you look at the work plan, as it has been um, uh, envisaged in the, in the OGP, it is clear that the issue of public participation is being given a very high premium. And as, as it, uh, you can read in the, in the action plan, uh, the public participation is um, stressing that all people, the youth, the women, the old, people with disability should participate. So with the OGP, I think we should be able to promote the, the gender equality by even doing the mapping. The, from my perspective as a geospatial analyst, we can map the roles of various um, uh, gender groups in various uh, areas in the, in, the, in, the, in the county. We can map what they are doing we can see their participation. We can create maps and show whether they participate in the development agenda through public participation or not. And we can provide statistics that, that can prove whether indeed they are part and parcel of the decision making of the development agenda of their counties or not. So this is a very important initiative, which I think if well implemented, it will bring inclusivity and uh, equality among the populace. My name is Dr. Wilbur Otichilo, Governor for Viga County, and I support open government 
partnership.